babes it's your girl Bree, aka Robrio Amir and I am back with another freaking video if you don't know who I am hi I am Robrio Amir if you don't know then welcome back if you don't know I'm a 21 year old stay at home mom slash content creator I say Robrio Amir Robrio Amir Robrio Amir Robrio Amir Robrio Amir Robrio Amir I intended on today's video being a day in my life but that's not going as planned because it is already already 12 50 and i only thing i've done today was feed my baby change my baby take care of my hygiene at this point in the day i was supposed to have already cooked breakfast and everything i'm just i'm not in the mood i'm tired today's a relaxed day it's actually a sunday i upload today so if you didn't watch that upload go watch that upload on our agenda we got to wash clothes, we got to wash bottles, clean up what I have at the, off the top of my head that we have to do. I can't think of nothing else, but I know we have to do more because I wrote it down in my notebook. I can't put stuff in my notes. If I don't write it out, I'm not going to stick to it, you know? Right now, I have not ate shit today. So, it's like literally way later in the day. It's now 8.18. I literally sat in bed all day. I had this like really sharp pain in my foot and it was killing me. Like literally killing me. I, well, we sat in the bed. We gotta go. I don't really wanna go into Target today, but we might have to. I know. Azana needs wipes. Y'all are probably like, why do we, like we don't wanna see you go to Target every single video. I don't wanna go to Target in every single video. I literally just vlog my life and I literally have to go to Target probably like once a week, sometimes twice a week. It just I depends. I told her we can go to Dollar General, but she don't come from the trenches, so. Why would I, why would we go to Dollar General? How are we going to go to Dollar General and get Millie Moon Whites? Easy, they got them in there. He a liar and he know it. Yeah. I don't want to keep going into Target with this bonnet on. I don't want to keep going and going, walking around with this red hair on. It's actually hideous to me now. And... I just, I don't even feel like leaving, honestly. For Azana's birthday next year, I'm taking her to the Maldives. I think that's how you say it. Then my best friend's daughter's birthday is three days after Azana's birthday. Her daughter is older, but her birthday is three days after Azana's. So I just want all of us, like my boyfriend, me, uh, my daughter, of course Azana. Um, my best friend and her daughter, I want us all to go next year for their birthdays because that just would be so fun. Like, it gives off Moana. If y'all follow me on TikTok or if y'all got me on TikTok, y'all see me repost the video, y'all know what I'm talking about. Just such a Moana vibe and the kids would love it. Oh my goodness, it's so, it's like animals and it's peace with water and it's swimming. And it's just all that good stuff. Like, the kids would absolutely love it. I just really want to take them, like... I love it. I'm going to show you the video. I'm going to just turn the sound down because I don't want to get copywritten. So one thing that my baby loves is water and it's new things. When it's like something super colorful or something she has never seen before or never done before she's really intrigued with it besides the park 
but she's really intrigued with it so it's just like i know she's gonna love that and i just i want to go for myself i want to take her i want her to get that experience it's just like a I don't know it's like a tropical magical like experience like it's giving disney and i really want her to go we're probably about to leave out to go get some food and to go into target we don't i don't think we need anything else from target we only need wipes right told y'all i was tired of coming into target with my bonnet on but i'm still going into target with my bonnet on because my baby comes first and she needs wipes so <laughs> that's what we're gonna go get detergent and baby wipes we can't find a detergent right past it and we turn right around i say i smell it this is good for the babies if you have a baby get this one and you can wash your clothes and the baby clothes with it and the baby won't break out i used drip and my whole baby's whole body broke out when she was born and our detergent was also breaking her out and we learned that all free and clear is good for the baby so if you get it you can wash your clothes and the baby clothes together and the baby won't break out where's the wipes we doing this let me get her puffs oh they're out of many more wipes all the, they didn't even have the little packs please bring all items to the front for fast fun and friendly service our for tomorrow we ended up in here for so long is because they didn't have her wipes not the one pack, not the three pack, not the the sixteen dollar box, none of them. So I don't have no signal in here, and I was trying to look up on TikTok which ones was best besides those, and I got Pampers, Agua. So hopefully they work. I only got a two pack in case they don't work, and I didn't spend a whole bunch of money on something that doesn't work. I see you registered. Give us one moment, please. All right, for sure. Okay, I want the Baconator meal. All right, let me get the um, a Baconator meal on top of that. Baconator fries. Huh? Or Baconator so fries. The ba you want the Baconator? A large strawberry lemonade. With large light ice. strawberry lemonade with light ice. For so sure. for the double Baconator combo, you want... Yes, Johnny on the spotlight. Sweetie, we were kind of out of fries. Do y'all want something else? Uh, Y'all, they gave us, they didn't have no fries. Y'all heard them say they didn't have no fries. They gave us seven things, seven, what like, some of these is a large nugget. They just filled up these, a bunch of different containers and gave us nuggets. Like, and it's not even fucking four or five nuggets in there. They gave us so many nuggets. It's, they gave us so many nuggets. They gave us seven containers of nuggets. It's not a four piece, it's not a six piece. They just threw a bunch of nuggets in each thing and gave us a bunch of nuggets. So Zana got food and I'm glad because I was gonna give her some of our fries. I guess she got chicken Good morning it's the next day and i don't have nothing planned for today nothing at all we're gonna clean 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 that's all i have on the agenda for today i was gonna make breakfast but y'all see wendy's gave us 50 fucking chicken nuggets last night so we're gonna eat those 50 fucking chicken nuggets before they get all soggy that's what's on the agenda for today i don't have oh then i have to edit i have to edit the clips of this video from yesterday edit that and get that done tomorrow i'm probably gonna make tomorrow i'm probably gonna make make breakfast vlog i posted yesterday is doing so freaking good i love y'all It's now 11.54, but I had to come on here and tell y'all this. So, for one, I knew for a fact the Target we went to yesterday, which is super close to us, did not have any Millie Moon wipes, period. They don't carry Millie Moon wipes, and I knew I wasn't tripping because it wasn't even in place for them. 
my boyfriend asked the worker as y'all seen in a video and was like hey do y'all have any millie moon wipes and what would they be or whatever and he was like no we don't have any i think we're out of stock and da 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 and i was looking because i'm like there's not even a place for them to be and my boyfriend like he said they don't got none or whatever like he just said they had stock i'm like no they don't have them period so we ended up getting them ones but i'm like instead of us just waiting because like i said we got a two pack of the uh pampers agua uh diaper and wipes <laughs> Um, instead of us just waiting to them run out to see if they work good, I just ordered the Millie Moon. I just ordered them on Target. So that way we can, what is today? Monday, they'll be here on Wednesday. So within the next two days, the big box of the Millie Moon wipes will be here and we'll be cool. So now we know we just have to order them because they have them at a Target near us. It's just 37 miles away from us. And... That's gas money on top of paying 20 something dollars for diapers. So it's no sense in paying $20 for diapers and probably like $15, $20 to replace gas, $40, and I could just order it online for $20. It's no shipping and handling because I have like an account with Target. So I don't pay for shipping and stuff like that. I just had to come over here and let y'all know that because I knew I was not tripping when I was in there looking. And I'm like, they don't even have, they don't even carry Millie Moon Wipes. And I told my boyfriend that last night, like, there's no place for them to even be. So I don't know why he wouldn't just say we don't carry them. The workers in there was kind of, he wasn't so bad, but it was some other workers that we came across that was kind of rude and ignorant. And granted, we did go in there at like 9.45 and they closed at 10 and they was ready to go home and all the other stuff. But it's no reason to be ignorant and rude because you're trying to go home. Like, it was two ladies in the front. They were at checkout. And they were just, like, standing there acting like bouncers outside the club. Like, being rude to everybody. I'm like, bro, it's no need for all that. It's just not. <laughs> PayPal need to get it together because, baby, they do a whole bunch of janky stuff when you're getting incoming payments that pay to, that are, like, the amount of the payment is too much and the, you're scamming and you're this and you're that. It's just too much. Like I said, today we have to clean. It is 11.57. As I'm supposed to be getting her bottle within the next, like, not within the next three minutes, but between 12 and 1 o'clock is when she gets her bottle. And I need to go wash the bottle out because I'm not going to be, I'm not going to sit here and lie. All of her bottles are dirty. For one, we don't have as many bottles that we had back at home because we left a bunch of them because... It was something that I didn't like washing. Like the, it was too many pieces, too many parts. So she got the the bottles that's most convenient, and of course she's about to be one years old. So she, we're not too much focused on colic. Granted, she can still get it, but it's not like as bad as it would have been back then. So we don't really need anti colic bottle, bottles anymore. She's barely even eating. I mean, barely even wanting milk. She just wants food now. So. And I forgot to tell y'all that we also have to drink chamomile tea and probably like mother's milk tea. I'm probably going to drink the mother's milk tea uh, within the next couple of hours. I'm going to drink the chamomile tea before I go to bed. And they say put the tea bags in your bra when you go to sleep and it'll like bring your milk supply back. My milk supply didn't drop completely. I probably can still get like three ounces a day. But I need more than that because Azana has two bags of milk left. Like two Ziploc baggies. That's going to last us the next week. If that. Like literally if that. I'm officially done cleaning. Everything is clean. The room is clean. The kitchen is clean. The bathroom is clean. My boyfriend playing Fortnite. But everything is clean. We were about to leave to go get some drinks, but it's pouring down, raining out. And there's nothing to drink. Let me show y'all everything. So the bathroom is clean. Everything's clean. Well, Hundred percent clean, clean. This is the closet. We still got our stuff in totes. All of this is clean. Everything is just clean. I'm about to find my phone so I can check the weather to see when it's gonna stop raining because we're going to get something to drink. I don't care.
It's raining. Mm -hmm. not, not, not nobody that don't work here. <gasps> yeah. Me and my boyfriend about the rock, paper, scissors about who about to choose where we about to go eat, get some food from because he act like he don't want to choose and I don't know where I want to eat at and I'm not about to sit here and get cussed out because I don't know where I want to eat at. So we're going to rock, paper, scissors about who's going to choose but anywhere wanna... but Wendy's, Burger King, or McDonald's. I don't want to choose because she always the indecided one. Come on. Rock, paper, scissors. You get it. Nope. Rock, paper, scissors. She. He won. He got to pick where we go. So, I just ordered us B dubs. He was supposed to pick, and I still ended up picking. See, I told you she did it in the first place. I told her. Look at her. She was being picky. She said beat up. I was not being picky. He she said, said we ain't want five guys we just had burgers last night. I didn't say that. I said we just had burgers last night. That's why I made a face, but I don't mind eating it if that's what All right, you cancel the, cancel the beat up then. That, it just took the money. Dispute it. No. See what I'm saying, y'all? What I the just... fuck is wrong with him? All right, y'all. So we just made it to beat up. They <laughs> <laughs> made the food up. She got me vlogging for her. Probably should wait till we get in so this camera don't get wet. I got this beater on, bruh. Yeah. I'm getting rain, though. So I'm gonna run. Okay. Y'all let me know how I did in the comments, vlogging for her, man. Let me know if I should just give it up. Let me know in the comments how I did. I'm not gonna see this footage until I start editing. I'm probably gonna start editing this video tonight or tomorrow, probably tomorrow. Did he pissed B Dub switch to all their wings to crispy wings. Does nobody want no burnt, stiff ass chicken? I do. I don't like all that fat. I like a little bit of like softness to them, a little gushy. Mm -mm. I don't like all that fat. I don't want to be able to taste the fat. You need to cook my chicken to I got bad news for you. What? No ranch. They about to go give it, cause I put it on there and they made me pay for it. They, you pay for it? Yeah, they can suck my dick. I put pay for six of them. A lot of ranch. They out? It's just on the blue cheese. I said, damn, y'all a lot of ranch. She said, exactly. She said, everybody keep eating on the ranch. And she said, but when I say we got blue cheese, everybody be like, I don't want no blue cheese. She like, you want blue cheese? I said, nah. She said, see? I said, well, oh, it's over with. They don't got no ranch, though. That's a real true, true story. It's on there. So it's on it's all footage. Look at that. I probably, I don't know. I don't know what I'm about to do now. She's going to try to have me go into the store when all the stores closed. She We're about to find somewhere to get ranch. I'm so serious. Right, it's a sun at the crib. No. It don't need to be no specific ranch. It do. It need to be some real good tasting ranch. So y'all, we are at Wingstop so I can get ranch. I know my boyfriend is like so tired of me. I love him to death, bless his heart. Because I really would not have ate without ranch. This man is so sweet. I'm, we're really gonna get married like we're really getting married i would say have more kids but i don't know about all that that's a little bit pushing it because baby breastfeeding for another year another what is it 16 for 18 months another 18 months no having another 
bad kid pull my bonnet off pull my hair smack me in my face bother me in my sleep all of that is just a no 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 uh -uh. but if kids weren't so they're not hard to deal with but they are at the same time kids aren't easy if they were easy baby i'd pop out 10 of these for my mother maybe that and I don't care nothing about it. I don't want to hear y'all got a kid and y'all not married. Da, 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 da. Let's talk. Let's talk about it. Like what's T? All these older generations or all of these older people on TikTok or all these people that fantasize. I mean, romanticize all of these this old school stuff all on social media. Being the younger school people, be all in the comments like, oh, y'all have a baby, y'all not married. All I keep hearing is my baby dad, just my baby dad, dad. Blah 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 blah. Let's talk about it because the older generation has more baby dads that aren't in their kids life like let's talk about our generation and my generation has less fathers that are active in their life than than our kids generation our kids have a, a, all of these kids that i've seen on social media their dads are very active girl or boy whatever the case may be so all these older generations talking about oh y'all have kids and y'all are not married and all this other shit i don't want to hear that because regardless you can you can get married and still get divorced and still end up a single mother so marriage ain't saving nobody from shit and secondly, for all of y'all trying to make it seem like marriage is better than just being a baby mom, like, if you're going to end up just a baby mom, you're going to end up just a baby mom regardless. That's why you have to ch pick who you have kids with very wisely. Marriage, a piece of paper, a ring, going to the courthouse, a fucking priest, none of that shit is going to stop if that man want to leave you with that baby. Let's be real. So I didn't have them put the dry lemon pepper on here. I'm just about to do it myself because sometimes they don't put enough so this is what I end up using. Oh, I, I broke the fucking lid off and I need to be able to shake it and just cover it again. Let me, I'm about to set one aside for it's on there. Wingstop got a better, better wrench than B Dubs, anyways. Y'all, this looks so good. I gotta show you. She was not playing. She, every time I try to take it, she woke up. I'm getting on the game. I don't got enough to do for tonight. Granted, I should be probably starting to edit, but I'm not in the mood to edit like if you are a content creator of some sort you know what i mean like it's not like i'm not in the mood to edit but it's like i'm not i'm in a more of a relaxed mode so my creative cap ain't on how it should be when i'm getting ready to edit <laughs> All right, y'all, so we just won that round. This is my, what, like second round since I've been back on? I'm about to click stay with team before everybody try to switch. We're to get ass to the lobby. Okay, y'all, this is my second dub. Let me, I'm trying to kill, but let me hurry up before these niggas dip out. Okay, y'all, so it's like, let me grab my phone. So it's 350 feet, 50 feet. It's 3.55 in the afternoon now. I blow dried, that's what I did this morning. I blow dried this wig. This is the wig I'm about to be putting on. Probably today, I'm not sure. But Azana's diapers came. I expected them to come tomorrow because they didn't say that, they said that they were not getting here till tomorrow. But yeah, we have our wipes now. We're about to get myself together. I'm tired of looking like this and yeah, it's time for me to get myself together. Y'all see my hair looks crazy. It's time to take my braids out, but we're not gonna do that today. We're doing my hair. Small talk, small talk.
I like cash talk. Lady diamonds hitting, turn the flash on. I'm like Wing Dixie, I get bags off. Baby got a pretty face, slim waist, ass off. I'ma get my own sack, bitch. I never had the bag. I ain't taking shit back, bitch. I said what I said. I was down bad, and they left your boy for dead. She say, girl, that fat nigga keep a loaf of bread. I still got powerhouses coming through on mopeds. I'ma still run it, check up like I got four legs. Give me any draw, I'ma get it off. I'ma slap on these fuck niggas every time they piss off. Bitch, I'm tryna scope, I ain't got no time to punt. I'm filling up my slap wood with Obama rights. Just throw me the alley hoop. Yeah, yeah, bitch threw me the alley hoop. I fucked around and dunk. Got the small talk, I like cash talk. Lady diamonds hitting, turn the flash on. I'm like Win Dixie, I get bags off. Baby got a pretty face, slim waist. Okay, hey, okay, y'all. So, um, <laughs> I'm done doing my hair. We're about to go take my pictures and get some food. I really want to take my pictures here, but I don't have no white nail polish. So, y'all know where we're going to go get the white nail polish because I absolutely need it. Because my feet look like little Vienna sausages. Without them, like, I need the nail polish. It's no question, no way around it. So, we're about to head out so I can get my content, so we get some food and get some nail polish. I'm going to Target now. We're literally only getting nail polish, so yeah. I'm literally just grabbing any white nail polish because I don't plan on keeping it on for long and I just need something to make my toes not look crazy in pictures. Yeah. Y'all see they, they match and they left me out. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, we're about to take my pictures at the house. Like. I got a bunch of pictures that eat down, like eat so bad. But these ones, the low exposure mode ones, I can't post on Instagram because they're too big. So, they are so cute though. They just All you gotta do is move back. I know how to do it. You can't post them. But I don't want no a whole bunch of black stuff on the side. It ain't gonna be. All I do is. Scoot it back and zoom it in when it's time to post it. Do it on Well, my boyfriend's gonna help me, so we gonna see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all. We're on the way to Zaxby's to go get some food because we, well, my boyfriend ate today. Hold on. I haven't ate anything because I was too focused on getting this done. This literally took me all day. I don't know what in my right mind that made me think I was going to be able to do this, edit, and get, um, and wash clothes. But I'll edit and wash clothes tomorrow because tomorrow or the next day because this is a. Um, I really want to go to the pool. My hair and everything done. My toes are painted. They're not done, but they're painted, so just don't look too close. Small fry. And a small fry. With no seasoning. With no seasoning. Here we go. Oh, that's a cute little one back here. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. This the fruit punch? Yes, sir. Your wings smell hot. They burn my nose hairs. I'm gonna see y'all back at the crib because we're leaving. Say do not enter. We're leaving. Boom. Back at the crib, of course. Them better not be all tight. These are Zana's fries. I need to tell them I want to know match. 
We hit 11,600 subscribers. Y'all are doing y'all biggest one. And I fuck with y'all for it. And I love y'all for it. Like, I will forever love y'all. Like, I also need uh, some tips. If you live in somewhere with heavy, like, very, very heavy, like, hot, hot heat, like Texas or Florida, please tell me what y'all do to keep y'all wigs intact to stay on like comment down below please tell me what y'all be doing because i fear this wig is going to be off within the next week and granted wigs aren't supposed to last three two three weeks but like at least like nine ten ish days before the lace start turning black before it starts sliding back before it start lifting i don't want to i don't want to have to deal with all that because in back in ohio it's cold all year round if you ask me so my wigs will stay on for two weeks if i keep up with them I don't want to have to be putting, lifting the, the little tiny lace up, putting some more glue. Like, I'm really not trying to be doing all that. Um, I also have to go into the big house, the main house, to make this tea because I need to drink this chamomile tea because Azana has one Ziploc bag of milk left. We don't got the to do. My baby needs milk and she cannot afford to run out and I cannot afford for her to run out because I don't know what formula is okay for her to use. And she got a month left before she could drink regular milk, which I didn't want her to drink regular milk till February. If you watched my last video, then you know that. But if I somehow cannot pr produce enough milk and I can only make enough milk for her day by day, hour by hour, whatever the case may be, then she will be drinking breast milk until August 1st and that's it. So I made the tea, I got the two tea bags, like one on each of my nipples, and I'm gonna take them out in the morning. Stop! She always, she is so bad, bro. I see what they were saying when they were saying like the toddler phase is so much worse than the newborn phase. I think she wasn't, she didn't even have a bad newborn phase. This toddler phase that she's going into is horrible. Like she gets into everything. She thinks it's funny. She smacks her lip at me. She laughs at us. She thinks it's funny. She know what we're saying when we say no or stop. Because if she's sad, I mean if she's sleepy, then it'll make her sad. So, she knows what we're saying. She just, she chooses not to listen to us. This ain't got nothing to do with you. This don't got nothing to do with you. Yeah, nah, nah. I'm watching TikTok videos on it. I'm drinking this tea. We're gonna see how it works. I just want to see what people are saying and their results. Hopefully, it works good because baby, she got one Ziploc bag full of breast milk, and that's it. On today's agenda, we're washing clothes, we're organizing, we're putting away clothes, of course, straightening up. Not necessarily cleaning up, but it's just a bunch of stuff out of place. Um, like y'all see, I got pumps on the table. Also, had to edit. And I'm probably going to play some Fortnite because I created my own account on my boyfriend's game because we were trying to do split screen the other day, but it wasn't working. But today, when I was playing this morning with my sister, it done the split screen between our both, both our accounts on its own. I was like, okay, we figured out how to do it. So my boyfriend bought me the battle pass and I'm like obsessed right now. And I'm trying to get all my skins and all that good stuff. So that and I need to get some Instagram content out. My Instagram is finally like back flourishing how the fuck it was before I had a month ago. <gasps> I'm so excited. I've been consistently posting probably some days I post three times a day. Some days I post twice. Some days I post once but I never go a day without posting. I'm trying to keep it like that for 30 days to create a habit of posting every day. Baby y'all know how. Never mind. <laughs> And why was nobody telling me that I left the CapCut sign at the end of my last two videos? Nobody told me. 
my boyfriend watched my videos last night and he told me none of y'all told me like i really feel this type of way because i thought we was closer than that i thought we was tired i thought we was better than that and i thought that y'all be watching all the way to the end so that way if anything was wrong or something y'all could tell me but obviously y'all don't y'all really don't fuck with me how y'all say y'all fuck with me y'all don't fuck with me how i fuck with y'all because then y'all would have knew y'all would have been able to tell me nobody dm me nobody commented nothing like what's tea like bestie is we falling out like bitch we we're we not allowed to fall out don't be don't do that weird one like we're for life that's no like for life what are you like today because i woke up around 10 and i've been trying to get my milk supply back all day that's all i've been doing is pumping and eating pumping and eating pumping and eating i really ain't been doing too much nothing else yeah i just didn't record i ended up not folding the clothes and organizing last night i'm gonna do that today it's already 6 16 earlier i placed a walmart order for azana's macaroni cup mashed potatoes cup and rice cup so she can start eating those because she literally has no milk left she has an ounce, an ounce of milk, that's it. We're actually going to the store. I, or, I also ordered some stuff, well my mom ordered this stuff. Um, some stuff for me to get my milk supply back. And my dad just sent me some money to go to the store to go get some milk, some stuff to get my milk supply back. Don't say shit to me, I have very supportive parents. Very, my parents are still parents. Like they're not just not my parents because I'm 18, they're still parents. We're actually about to go to Target and get that stuff. And then I have to also go to the vitamin shop to get beef liver um, capsules. It's like a supplement. And it's really good. And it's good for your breast milk. And it helps with your protein intake. Just a bunch of stuff. I'm going to give you all a haul on everything that I'm getting to be able to get my breast milk back. Because I know it's a lot of moms out there who milk supply is dropped. Who's trying to just simply increase their milk supply. When I tell y'all I get sometimes not even a full ounce per pump session i'm supposed to be pumping right about now but i'm just gonna wait till we get back to pump because i still have to wash a pump and we're trying to get out and back in before it starts raining because like i said we well i don't know if i said this but we just got out the shower so we're about to go handle that stuff y'all are coming along with us of course so we're going to the vitamin shop and to target to get some a few things and i also have some things getting um deliver between seven and eight o'clock it is 6 16 friday june 28th so we're about to head out it's really muggy in here and i'm just ready to go okay y'all so this is don't mind this table it's bottles and my boyfriend's drink that he's still drinking so i got my ugg tasman's adidas pants the white crop y'all know the white crop and the Adidas pants, no matter if it's the gray ones, the red ones, whatever. It's just my go-to fit. And then the Louis Vuitton purse. Pandora bracelet, Pandora necklace. My other necklace is from Claire's. And Zana is so thirsty to get in the camera. Y'all want her fit check. Pajamas is from Carter's. Her, She got her pink bonnet. It's from Amazon. And Converse from I can't fucking remember. So we're at the vitamin shop. I just went in and got these. Well, y'all seen because I recorded on my phone. But I didn't take my camera in because it's raining. And I was literally only going in there to get these. So. Next Target? Yep. So we got these. Now we're about to head to Target. I'm going to see y'all when we get there. So I'm about to give y'all a haul on not everything that we got, but everything that's 
going towards my breast milk so y'all can know what I'm about to be using. For one, water, of course, for two, supply and demand. So I power pump twice today. I'm going to continue to do that until my milk comes back. Some people power pump differently, like time, the time intervals is different. I'll power pump 20, break 10, pump 10, break 10, pump 10. First is these Quest chips. They got a lot of protein in it and I know that when you breastfeed that you're supposed to get a lot of pro, like get your own protein intake. I also ate liver earlier because my cousin cooked some and I don't eat liver. That was my first time eating it, but I know my baby needs milk, so I did what I had to do these pro premier proteins the armor of course all that came from walmart i'm about to show y'all all the stuff from target this the beef liver the grass-fed beef liver came from the vitamin shop y'all seen that i have got lactation cookies because it won't hurt to try them at this point, I'm desperate. Genetic virgin coconut oil. It says it's coconut oil, but it's like coconut chips. But you warm it up in a microwave and you like, it's like you take it like a shot. I'm allergic to coconut oil on my skin, but I know I've had food with like coconut oil and coconuts and all that other stuff in it. So hopefully this don't cause me to have allergic reactions. If it do, I'm not tripping because it's only hives. I don't swell up or anything. I just break out in hives. And then I have core powers because these are also protein it's 42 grams of protein here 42 grams of protein here and i will get back to eating how i'm supposed to because moving really took a toll on me when it comes to cooking and eating how i'm supposed to because it was just too hard to cook in the process of moving and packing up pots and pans and everything like that and keeping stuff out and then washing it and packing it back up it was just too much you've been eating like fast food and stuff for probably about a month now we did go to Trader Joe's which y'all seen in my last video and got a bunch of like pre-cooked meals and just warmed them up and ate them so that was good but we don't have any more of those so I do have to go back to Trader Joe's and get some more of those because baby 10 out of 10 everything we ate 10 out of 10 so I'm gonna put this stuff up and I'm actually about to go get Azana's rice and feed her that for dinner because like I said, she has no more milk, so it's about time we start giving her meals, meals, and not just fries and three, four fries here and there. It's time for her to eat because she's 11 months. We're well, about to be 11 months in like three days, so. Okay, y'all, so it's the next day. Hey, come back this um, way. We're about to get ready because I want to take pictures. That's pretty much all I got planned for today is to take pictures and finish editing. I um, completed all my tasks for this week, thank God. I just really need to edit because I got to get this video up tomorrow. And the Wi-Fi here is kind of slow. Okay, so this is the shirt I'm wearing. If y'all watched my, I think my last video, y'all seen it. I don't got no, I only got my bra on, like my actual bra, which is why, and my titties be spilling out of this bra, which is why I'm covering it like this. I might put this on, tie it up, and then my jeans are from Sheen, and then my orange and white dunks. Camera battery is dead, so I'm trying to hurry up and tell y'all that I'm ready. We're about to go take pictures. I'm gonna see if I got a camera battery that's charged because I think they're all dead. Y'all fall. I gotta pick y'all back up and put y'all together. The camera was broke. I did that. I fixed the car air. The air was not working How for you whatever do it? reason. How you fix it? Because I kind of added to when I was taking my pictures and I slammed the door. Which I'm, I'm grateful that she did that shit, but 
Don't be slim and shit. Anywho. I came on here to end this video out. Y'all probably be on watching my Instagram reels and all that. Wondering why the hell I'm always talking about after a baby this and after a baby that. Because after a baby life gets real. Like it really, it really get real. Like you lose yourself. You become a whole different person. You will never be the person that you once were ever again. Because you have a baby now. So you can never be, um, you can never be, like I can never be Robrielle without a baby because i'll never not have a baby like you know and even when she's 18 i'll still have a child so i will never be robrielle without a kid because i'm always gonna have a kid you know kid changes everything like i do everything slower it took me a long time to really get back to me like my my consistency on my social media platforms my praying like and even still times I, sometimes i slack with it. i have to run behind her all day and make sure she's not getting into stuff making sure she's changed making sure she's fed making sure she got bottle juice milk like water everything i have to change or have to do her hair like when i'm getting ready i know we gotta go somewhere now i gotta get me in her ready i gotta do my hair in her hair i gotta get me in her dress so my life has completely changed and for a long time it was really frustrating trying to get back to me. I'm finally here and I feel like I'm so stuck on never losing me again and never becoming the... I wouldn't say I was depressed. I was just like... I just felt like I was just in an empty space. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know who I was seeing every day in the mirror. I didn't know... I didn't know how I used to do my makeup. I didn't know how I used to like my hair. I didn't know how I used to like my nails. Like I just didn't know nothing about myself no more. I didn't know how I used to dress. I didn't know any of that stuff so for me I felt like there's no way I'll ever be like I'm just this bland person this is just who I am for the rest of my life I just felt like throwing the towel in like okay not like oh I shouldn't have said that not like myself but like okay whatever like fuck it I'm just dragging my feet for the rest of my life this is what it is it is like a lot of people don't know that but that's literally not what it is like it is what you make it and it takes some time to be able to make it to how you want it to because having a kid is fucking hard. Like, hard. It's hard. It's hard. Like, it's hard. Like, especially with this, me being a, a, a content creator. Like, I, it's so hard. Like, I have to get content on top of everything else that I'm already doing like 50 times a day. And I'm, right now, I'm trying to get my milk supply back up. So I'm pumping and I'm pumping and I'm pumping. And I'm keeping up with my kid and I'm feeding myself and I'm feeding my kid and I'm getting ready and I'm posting content and I'm on my phone and I'm here and I'm here and I'm there. I'm washing clothes, I'm folding clothes, I'm cleaning up. It's just so fucking much. My head just be fucking spinning, y'all. Like, and I just try to stay on top of it, try to stay on top of it, try to stay on top of it. So now it's just like, then I'm like, I'm really getting sleep because I gotta do this and I gotta do that and I gotta do this and I gotta do that and it just never fucking ends. And it's just like, <sighs> One day my child was gonna be able to be like, Mommy, I want macaroni. Mommy, I want mac I want some rice. Mommy, I want chicken. And I'm gonna be like, Okay, thank you for telling me. Let me go get your chicken. And she sit on the iPad and she watch her goddamn self and yes, my kid's gonna have a fucking iPad because baby, life is hard. It's hard. It's hard it's hard with a kid. Like, don't come on here telling me this and telling me that and telling me, Oh no, it's hard it's only hard because such such I have my baby dad's help, it's still hard. I have my family support and help, it's still hard. I it's it's just it's hard. And then on top of that, not downplaying fathers in any way, shape or form because like I said, I got the best baby dad in the world. Like he's he's present, he's there for me, he's there for her. He caters to my every need, her every need, he makes sure we're good, like he's the best not downplaying fathers in any way shape or form but i feel like it's harder as a mom because the baby clings to you so when i'm doing my hair when i'm doing my makeup she's up my ass and she's knocking stuff down and it's hard you know i gotta put her on the couch put her on the bed so she can stay away from me so she don't pull the flat irons down on her face and now she's screaming and crying and i'm hearing all this noise and my head is just spinning and i have really bad anxiety and i get overwhelmed and flustered and it's just a lot it's just a lot so when people tell y'all to be sure to be, if you can wait for kids, it's not saying kids are something bad, but it's saying it's not easy. And it don't be hard, but it's not easy. Like, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not peaches and cream. Putting on that baby clothes is hard, especially when it gets to his toddler phase. Putting the baby in a car seat is goddamn hard. Like, I can't do nothing. I can't do nothing. I can't do nothing. I just be trying. I just go with the flow and I just keep trying. I keep pushing. I pray to God. And I just pray that God keeps me on um, a swivel and i just pray 
I just and sometimes I be forgetting to pray and I feel so horrible about it. But I just I I have so much to do. Like I I forget every day. I forget something else. Like sometimes I forget to get content. Sometimes I forget to post content. Sometimes I. I never forget to feed my child. I never forget to change my child. I never forget to make sure my child's love. Like sometimes I don't get myself together. Sometimes I be I be just like my I be like my lace lift. Sometimes I just it, I got too much. I got too much to worry about. So sometimes I do forget stuff, and I feel like a horrible person for forgetting to pray. And it's not that I forget, but it's like I keep getting new tasks to do, and I'm changing her. And oh my God. Now I gotta take the trash out. Or, oh my god, now I gotta wash bottles. She don't have no more bottles. Okay, let me make sure I pump so she can have some milk. Okay, I'm done pumping. Let me get in the shower so I don't smell like breast milk. Oh, I'm at the shower. Let me, you know, get myself together. Okay, once I'm getting myself together, okay, now I gotta get her again. It's just always something. Like, <sighs> okay, so this is editing me here. And I just wanted to come on here and say, before anybody get in the comments and just get to assuming and all of this other stuff, no, I don't take the trash all the way outside. I'll take it to like an area to where my boyfriend takes it outside. I don't. I haven't took trash out in years. Second of all, I I have his help a lot. I say that all the time. My, I have the best baby dad in the world. But I really wanted to come clarify that because he's a huge help. But sometimes my daughter is following me. She's following me. She's at my ass. She's climbing up on me. Like as I'm in the middle of doing my hair, she's pulling herself up on me and screaming and crying in my ear because she specifically wants me to pick her up so it's not that he doesn't help it's just it's certain things that's out of our control or like when it comes to pumping like i have to pump he cannot produce milk so it's just certain things that completely are gonna fall on me and that's okay because that's what i signed up for but i'm not complaining but i just wanted to clarify that he definitely does help he's definitely very active he's very present he, he's getting beat up right now so I can edit it was a very much needed rant I didn't rant it to my boyfriend and to y'all today like I just had to get it off my chest I had to thank you thank you bestie for listening thank you because I really really needed that and yeah if you guys like this video like this video comment down below what you guys want to see next subscribe to the channel hit the bell so you get notified when I motherfucking post Share my videos, tell a friend, tell a friend. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye, Breezy Babes.